Hey there, welcome to my channel. I'm on the mission to hit 100,000 subscribers before the end of 2025, and your support means everything. So don't be that person who watches but doesn't subscribe. Thanks for being here, and let's jump right in. Hello everybody, yes it's with ya, and welcome back to another tutorial on the Twin Plays channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the Commander Admin Commands. Um, so this is going to be a little bit of a different video, but we're just going to be going straight into Admin Commands. Now, um, if you haven't been watching the series, the Grow Garden series, and you're here just based off the title, and you want to make Commander Admin Commands, you will be able to get this kit um, in the description. I'm going to have everything there, also everyone who's watching the video, of course. Um, but it might be just a little bit different because we're specifically doing Grow Garden, but I'm going to go through it and talk to you about it and how it works, which in the end, you will be able to make your own commands based off whatever game you have. Um, but yeah, so if you're new to the channel, feel free to hit the subscribe button, turn on post notifications. We just hit 80,000, you guys, which is like awesome. I'm so happy, you guys. Uh, we're getting that 100Ks on the way, you know? Um, but yeah, so going into this, we're going to head down into the description. And all the links, like I said, are down there. So go to Discord, um, anything you guys want, or, you know, we have the kit too. Uh, I'll show you the Discord model real quick. But if you are grabbing the model, uh, you can just go to my Discord, go to the Grow Garden kit, and it should be right here. Um, if not, there is a link, and you can just hit claim or, you know, save to Roblox or whatever works. Um, and yeah, so either in the model tab, just insert model, or in the toolbox in inventory, you should be able to insert. So I already have it inserted in my game, and also guys, this kit is in the description as well, so you can download this and edit the kit that's fully made to this next this video. Um, but yeah, so if you import it, now um, looking at this, okay, so if you have a Grow Garden game, if you don't, don't worry about it, um, I'm going to show you how this works. But you're going to put this into starter player scripts, so grab this and drag it to starter player and starter player scripts, okay? I'll talk about that in a second, and then you're going to grab this server script service and put this into server script service. All right, so as you can tell, I already have mine. So you're good to delete that after, you're good. Okay, so um, first things first, this is a very, very simple part. Um, in here, it's gonna be the activation key. So based off of how you wanna activate Commander. Now, I don't know how it works with um, mobile, but this does work with uh, basically your computer. So I don't know if you could do like uh, enum dot, I don't know how it works, um, but either way, you should be able to just set this to whatever. So this is just checking if they press F4, if you want to do F5, anything you want, probably just keep it F4. I'd have to search up and check the documentation, which I'll leave in the description that talks about if you want to make it uh, mobile. I don't know how that works. But either way, you can always uh, use this commander as required. As you can tell, set activation key. You could always, you know, do something a certain way instead, um, like maybe a UI. Uh, but yeah, so that's it. That's how you customize it to open it. But now going into the server script service, we're going to talk about a few things. Okay, so I'm pretty sure this is the module. Yeah, this goes over the commander module. Um, I think I can just, let me just play it too real quick and kind of show you guys how this works specifically. But um, yeah, so I mean, we left off with the Girl Garden series. We're still going. Um, but yeah, so if I click F4 right now, as you can tell, it's typing up commander. And this will work for Steel of Brain Rot 2 and all those other games. But um, what happened was this was made by, God, I even get to say this guys, this is made by Tico. So, uh, I'll leave him in the description as well. He's the one that made this whole kit, um, and uh, this whole commander thing, but yeah. So thank you, Tigo. He gave you guys a few things already, like give seed. Um, and then you would type in like your name, um, to place dev. So it's, it's very nice. Cause it's just like, you don't even like have to type in everything and it'll recognize it, but like, there you go. So it gave me a thing. And then there's give global. I think it's global. Let's see, so G, give seed, get player instance, um, give tool maybe, or like, I don't even know, I gotta check the commands he did. <laughs> but there's like something global, oh, server event, maybe event? Uh, okay, either way, we're gonna do events with this, so I'll talk about that later, but yeah, so like I already have a seed. Um, but yeah, okay, so that's just an example of how it works. Now, in the commander, um, basically there already are some built-in commands. So uh, as you can tell, there's this help right here, me, self, everyone, it talks about arguments. Um, so you can do help if you wanna look at commands. Um, but in here there's utility, there's debug, and then there's admin. So these are literally all commands. Um, these are already all commands that are ready. So like you can do math, um, history, hover, so that's good. There's blink, fetch server through uptime, these are debugs. But then like things like this, so you can do announce. So if you wanna announce to the server, um, you can announce something. There's go to place, so you can go to a certain place. 
Um, there's kick. You can kick a person. So it, there's already a lot of stuff in here. There's kill. There's all these cool things that are already made for you. Um, and it's it's really nice. Um, okay, so then we have respawn. So there's all these things, teleport, all that kind of stuff. Now, that's built in, okay? Um, we're going to talk about that in a sec. There's built in types too. So this goes over the, uh, I think just other things in general. There's shared. And then there's commander client, commander interface. Um, so those are just the main things. Create UI. This is just the UI that just drops down. Initialize, all that kind of stuff. Okay, so it's in commander server. Okay, so in here, uh, if you want to make it so you can use it, you just have to go to these right here. So inside of these, you are going to put your uh, ID, basically. Now, as you can tell, there's three of them. Why is there three of them? That's just because it makes it so you are a... Um, if you want to do debug, if you want to do util, all that kind of stuff allows you to do it. Um, so to do this, uh, you just kind of grab your profile ID. Now, grabbing your profile ID is not too hard. Um, it's just in your profile. So you go to the roblox.com and then you grab your profile. And then it should just be this number right here. Once you do that, you can just put it right here and equals true. Um, and then you can, if you want to add more players, you do a comma. And then you can do the same thing again, um, equals true. Or, you know, it equals false, whatever works. Um, and then just keep going. So that's all you have to do, but make sure it's not the same number, of course. And then same thing for these. So just copy and paste, copy and paste. That's it. That's how you make it so you can use it. Now, custom commands. Okay, so that's what it was. He has give seeds and then he has uh, add stats. So um, there's give seeds folder, server, sorry, and then there's add stats. So um, going into this, yeah, these are ones he made. So if you want to add a stat, um, you know, name equals add stats, stats, add stat, description, um, there's a group, default admin, so same thing for this, uh, you'll have to check a few things, um, oh wait, there we go, give seed, okay, so I think how this works is, okay, so if you want to make your own command, you make two, so, um, we have give seeds and we have get seed server, so give seeds is basically going to be the one that talks about what the command is, so it's going to return give seed, that's the command, um, we have these as the allies and then, um, description of course, and then the group, yeah, default admin or default util, whatever you want to do, but the arguments. So this is where we go and check the arguments. So, um, argument one would be player, uh, team equals player. So name equals player description, the player. Um, so all these types name description. So we go type name, seed type description, blah, 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 type name description default is one. Um, so these are the arguments. So then in give seed server, this is where he handles everything. So basically, um, one thing I do, I do want to mention, so I kind of forgot to mention, um, to get this to work, and you're probably like, it's not going to work right away. You need to, um, just for the sake of the video, to make it easier for you guys, because um, I guess Tigo just wrote it, writ, writ it oh, uh, ah, I'd written it a different way. Um, you just need to copy this folder right here, server storage, go to replicated storage, go to assets, and put your crop seeds in here. Um, that's something we had to do. So you're going to, you're going to have to update both. So just make sure that when you're updating your final seeds, you put them in the server storage and you put them in replicated storage just for the sake of the video. Um, I, you know, if you want to redo the programming to the point where, um, so if you search up crop seeds, oh, it's not too bad. Actually. Um, if you search up crop seeds and you go server storage, you would just put this instead to replicated storage. So you don't have to have two things. Just for the sake of the video and to make it easier for you guys, I just decided to do that. Um, but it's not too bad. There's actually not that much programming. So you should be able to do that. But okay, so going back to this, we basically check and we do a function. Okay, so um, grabbing the folder, if the folder's a thing, if there is not a target player, so we're going to grab target player dot name. So as you can tell, we have context, target player, seed type, and amount. So that's in here. Okay, so we have player, seed type, and amount. So we go through there, we do a player string number. And yeah, so context dot executor and then all that kind of stuff. Um, now we just go through here and we find the uh, seed item. And if we do have that, we're going to do inventory service dot inventory updated and we give them the target player, the seed type. Um, and then we do the message, of course, and send event. So this is custom kind of uh, things. Now, um, and the same thing goes for add stats server. So this is going through here and he's doing money service, give money. So for cash. Um, and we just have cash from, right? Yeah. So it's just cash. Um, and that's, and that's where we go through here. Okay. And, um, talking about that, yeah, money service, as you can tell. So you just see that. Um, but yeah, so 
that's it. That is that is the custom commands. Now I'm gonna be updating this with the weather events and all those special things. We just haven't made the weather just yet. So until the time is coming or until the time comes, we will do that. Um, but as you can tell, uh, this is where we've gotten so far. Now, like I said, if you want to add more custom commands, you just have to do basically almost a duplicate. So like if you were to add another one, we're gonna do this and we're gonna call it weather. Um, events you know and then you're gonna do another one and uh, well then this is the weather events it's like this is the server side so this would be the server one and then you'd go through and you'd call this uh weather events okay and then this is where you'd go through and you'd have to do this um so this is where you'd go through and just change everything and go to the arguments so if you want to make more arguments you could do that it's just uh you know very simple to just go down here and say you want something else, you know, if you want a number plop, I don't know, you want to say like, yeah, event, and then it's going to be event, um, whatever, and then type of event. So um, basically the, the whole point of that. Uh, but yeah, so uh, that's all, that's about it, you guys. That's nothing too, too crazy. Um, oh, yeah, and then this, yeah, this is kind of the same thing as what I mean by drop seeds and stuff, so types. Um, so there's a lot of a lot of stuff with this i honestly i don't even know how this works but i'm guessing we got types in here which is kind of cool you two don't make any type from your seeds okay so that's pretty nice to look at um so just kind of kind of paying attention to how he built some of these things but um in the end this is the custom part of it so you don't need to touch anything else this is more of the uh you know just the main main module um but yeah so that's about it for the the video you guys um, like I said, if you want, it's honestly nice. Sometimes you can pop this into AI and be like, make me a command that makes you fly. Make me do this and that. So feel free to mess with that. This is probably the best admin like commands you can have in your game. In just my opinion. Um, I've never even thought i like, I've never noticed commander, but I love it and it's a great tool. So yeah, feel free to just, you know, mess around with it. Um, but I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you very much Tigo, And, um, yeah, see you guys later. Bye. -bye.